and we will check in with the inspector general again soon. But turning now to other news, Republicans and farmer advocates say a state decision out of Albany could be a major blow to New York's food and farming industry. Our new reporter, Alexis Young, is here with more. Alexis. That's right, Dan. In January, a state wage board laid the groundwork for a 40-hour work week in New York's farming industry, recommending that farm workers be eligible for overtime pay after 40 hours instead of the current 60 hours. That wage board is set to meet again in September, when they're expected to finalize that recommendation and send it to the Hochul administration for approval. The state already lowered the overtime threshold for farm workers down to 60 hours three years years ago, but that was something farmers said they could live with at the time. But they say lowering it again could be a blow to the state's agriculture industry. Republicans joined farmers for a press conference on the issue in the Albany area this week. One of them was Senator Peter Oberacker, who represents a rural district upstate. But lowering the overtime threshold is a crushing blow that our already struggling family farms can simply not afford. This measure will plow many family farms under, and it must be stopped. Uncertainty amongst farmers stems from questions like, can we afford to hire more laborers? Can we afford to pay for dozens of hours in overtime? And how will that impact the cost of food? In April, Governor Kathy Hochul and the legislature approved a new state budget with tax credits to help reimburse farmers for new overtime costs. Yet the farmers, farm workers, and industry supporters present at the press conference expressed frustration with Hochul's silence on the issue. Congressman Lee Zeldin, who's also the Republican nominee for governor, said the credit will only act as a bandage, not a remedy. My commitment is to kill this change to the threshold. It should be 60 hours, not 40 hours. It's not about changing it to 40 hours and then trying to slap Band-Aids on it. We're going to be losing employees to other states as for Hochul, a spokesman for the governor said she doesn't have a public position on the overtime threshold. Dan? Thank you, Alexis, and welcome to the show. We're so happy to have you. Glad to be here.